Plastics are one of the most devastating pollutants of marine environments. Nearly half of all plastics are buoyant and therefore disperse widely. Eventually, they accumulate epifauna and sink to the bottom of the sea. Here, plastic degrades into microfilaments and mixes with the seafloor sediment. In Tokyo Bay alone, plastics were shown to make up 85% of seabed debris. Crustacea in particular are susceptible to this type of pollution because they use the sediment for feeding and burrowing. A research team at Millport Marine Station decided to investigate the impact of plastic pollution on the Norway lobster. Six trawls were carried out across six different locations around the Isle of Cumbrae. Twenty of the largest lobsters, and therefore most valuable, were chosen for stomach contact analysis. 83% of these had plastic in their stomachs. The most common plastic type were strands of monofilaments tangled into a ball typically at the back of the stomach. Some also contained a polythene bag fragments. Plastics can impact the animal's growth, reproduction and provide a false sensation of fullness leading to starvation. One of the main sources of plastic pollution is from the fishing industry. Approximately 6.5 million tonnes of plastic are discarded from ships every year. In this study, most plastics found inside the lobster's stomachs were identified as parts of fishing equipment, such as fragments of ropes and nets. In addition to consumption, crustacea can also get tangled in this equipment or killed as bycatch. Another source of plastic pollution is littering. Such plastics take years to degrade, if at all. In order to minimise these concerns, we need to be more sustainable and environmentally friendly. We can change a present nets into biodegradable material and raise more awareness of the effects of plastic pollution. These can have major positive effects in reducing pollution. Plastic pollution is a man-made problem, therefore it is our responsibility to find a solution.